Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with LaserEngravingBusiness.com and in today's video I just want to show you guys how to make a picture stand or picture easel or a uh, you can hang in you can really put anything on it to uh, either display it for pictures or display it around your your house or the customer's house and you can always include this in some of your uh, projects that you sell to um, add a little extra touch for people but anyway we're going to go over where to get the file the tools you'll need to make the item and how to make the item and so everything you will need to create one of these will be in this video so stay tuned so you can download this file from Etsy and I'll include the link up here in the description and this is what it'll look like on Etsy after you purchase it and you download it you will see a folder and it has a uh, five different files in it which you will learn that means a little bit later in the video but the point 10 point 11 point 12 is all the different material thicknesses and so you're going to need some calipers or um, another tool that is free that you can download in the description to help um, help you with figuring out the thickness of the material be using and so i use eighth inch um, Baltic birch plywood for the project and I will show you how to um, what it looks like in the Glowforge so once you put it in the Glowforge upload it in the Glowforge it'll look like this here and just use whatever settings that you normally use to uh, cut the specific material you're using so I'm using that eighth inch plywood and I use the medium maple plywood settings and it cuts pretty good on that I don't have my glow forge on right now but I believe it takes about one to two minutes to cut this out and so one other thing you can do is go to laserengravingbusiness.com and you can click up here on project pricing calculator and if for some reason you wanted to sell this project and you wanted to know how much you uh, should sell it for and you're cutting it on the Glowforge you can come to this project price calculator and uh, this isn't necessarily something you would probably sell by itself but if you want to calculate your cost and uh, include that in the pricing of anything that you're selling and you're including this with it you would type in how long it takes to cut I just round it up to two minutes it takes probably less than a minute to assemble but I'll add a minute and the cost of materials is fairly low also but I added 25 cents to that and it'll calculate it for you and it comes out to three dollars and 25 cents so if you want it to say you're selling a, a uh, laser engraved picture or something like that selling it for forty dollars and you decide you want to start including these um, picture stands or easels um, with it you can either eat the cost or you can increase the price of your picture to forty three dollars and twenty five cents or maybe round up a little bit to forty five dollars and um, so also if you go to same website laser engraving business.com you click on the free download tab here and this is where you will download your material thickness board which you'll see later in the video and I do have a video on how to download this and how to use this and how to make this and I'll also include that in the description so what you'll see next is how to assemble the project 
So as you saw in, earlier in the video, you had five different files included in there and they all had different um, thicknesses. I believe it was 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12. Then you had 0 0.18 and 0.25. And if for any reason you guys need a different uh, thickness and um, you're not comfortable editing the file, just send me a email at laserengravingbusiness.com or laserengravingbusiness at gmail.com and I will send that on over to you. But um, what all that, all those decimal numbers mean is you have your material that you will be cutting the stand on. In my case, this is eighth inch Baltic birch plywood. I have my calipers and let's see I will stick the calipers on the plywood and we're coming out with point 12 okay so I would use the file that says picture stand point one two and I also have a full video on how to use this tool here if you did not have any calipers and you didn't want to spend the money on the calipers you can always download this for free print it out on your laser and you can utilize it for this project but basically all you do is you take your wood and you try to stick it through each notch and so it fits through point 11 but it's kind of snug and it fits through point 12 a little better and point 13 it's too loose and you really can't put it in point 10 so um, if you use point 11 or point 12 you would probably do pretty good with it um, and it really doesn't it really doesn't cost or take a whole lot of material so if you so happen to um, use the wrong file you can always reprint it and you won't be too far behind in cost so after you print it on the Glowforge it only takes about a minute or two to uh, cut and um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna put one slot in to the other slot and if for some reason it is a little snug you can always take a rubber mallet and lightly tap on the top of them and push them down if you cannot get it by hand and so they uh, they are held together by friction but you could always put a little glue in there if you need it to and you also this is what it looks like holding up a picture. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, please shoot me an email at laserengravingbusiness at gmail.com. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.